So how are we doing guys and welcome, it's Kraken here and we've got just one question for you. Can a nerd survive the zombie apocalypse? How are we doing guys? Yes, welcome. It is day number 34 and what a day we had yesterday. What a massive, massive day we had yesterday. But it all turned good in the end. It got a little bit hairy at times. And we don't like, we don't like things getting too hairy and fuzzy. But look what we've got here. Level 5 Tactical Assault Rifle doing a lot more damage than the AK-47 was. And we've got the rad remover in there because I'm starting to get a little bit nervous now because we need that. Now we've started seeing radiated already in POIs. I think tomorrow night's horde could be, um, could be a bit of a funny one. So we've got to get this dark trap made. That's got to, got to be done. I've got a load of darts being made, then I have 600 of those, I had 300 and then I thought to myself I think we should get a few more made, I've got a load of stuff on me to go and sell, one because I like money and secondly because I'm starting to run out of room, I need to get a few more boxes in here, a lot of just random stuff lying about, I think we're going to be alright for ammo for this horde seems to have quite a bit of it accumulating up here which is which is all very nice and we've got a load over at the hall base as well i'd really like to start using this at some point but we've got no points into pistols and they're just not as strong as this with no points in it we've got this um helmet that we found yesterday modded it all up with a load of rubbish that we're not going to use loads of money's worth of stuff here just putting a few mods into all of these. We had a load of these single mod pockets there. One thing I do keep forgetting to do though, is check in the game stage at the beginning of the episode. Keep forgetting, even though it's there on my board to do straight away. So we're actually up to 91. Which is not bad going at all. Not bad going. So I want to get over to the whore base and I want to make sure we get the generator in there and everything wired up just make sure it's all hunky-dory before tomorrow and we're going to take the steel over as well leave seven here we'll take 280 should be more than enough where's my darts oh they still got a minute left to go make sure we've got plenty of those are you made yet no 40 seconds left on you so I'm going to jump over to the trader and then we're going to head to the hall base. So, let's get cracking. There we go, just in the nick of time. Now, I'm going to take one of these sugar butt candies because we've got plenty of them. So, we may as well start using them. Make sure I've got my magnum out as well to get that better deal. Have you got any more for... Uh, yes, I'm going to buy it. I haven't even got any lockpicks on me, but I'm going to buy it. Skull crushers. I'm still unsure about these atom junkies, you know. Ah, bugger it. We'll buy it anyway. And the nerd tax we definitely need. Definitely need. Right, Joel. How are you doing, buddy? What do you seek, friend? I seek lots of your money. So, let me see your inventory. Right, not too bad then. There was only one blunderbuss they wouldn't actually buy. So, that's not too bad. We get a bit of money back there, 490. I couldn't be bothered to put any mods or anything in them. We've, we've well surpassed them. Anyway, what have you got for sale? Get some gunpowder. Get the cobblestone because it's cheap. It's got some spuds, which is good. Now, we're doing very well for money. He's got the coffee seed recipe here, and I want to either find the recipe for seeds or buy them. So we're definitely going to buy that. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have anything else for you come me. Back sometime. Pretty damn sure we've got a job off you. No, we haven't, actually. Oh, 
tier fours, and you've got one very close, actually. You're two very close. I could really use some help, friend. Godspeed. Okay, old Victorian house, tier four. Okay. Right, well, we're not going to be looking at doing that straight away. I've got the auger on me, but I do need to go and get some food, actually, because I forgot to do that, so I'm going to quickly go and grab some food back from the house. Get some coffee. We need clay soil. We are completely out of clay soil. We need them for farm plots, and we need them to do our... Um, are smelting into the forge so I'm gonna grab that and then we'll meet you back over at the hall base right so there's the old Victorian house literally right opposite ours that's the tier 4 okay I don't know if I actually remember that one or not it's definitely not a way manor Hmm, okay, well we'll definitely be doing that sometime. We're definitely not doing that tomorrow though, before the horde. Half of this stuff hasn't even dried yet. Bloody mechanics in this game for the concrete drying is a complete pain. Right, put you away, put the money away, and where's my... there he is. Now, Mr. T did a damn good job yesterday damn good job what mods can I put into him because I can make up to a level three now and I if I put another point into it which I do have I could put into a level four so what mods can I put in him obviously I've got the drum mag you guys tell me what other mods I can put in here I assume I can put the rad remover in there which will definitely definitely help right this place is coming on leaps and bounds which is nice still a nice floating block here which is all fun and games. Need to get the generator in here somewhere. I've got the trip wires on me, so let's grab those. Need to put one there and one there. Good stuff. We need the dart trap. Now, can we get you? Right, yeah, they've got that nice arrow now, which shows you which direction. The arrow shoot, which is very nice. Never used to do that before, so you just have to try and get it in the right direction. But you're going to go in there like that. And there we go. So we can actually take 1,500 ammo. So that's not too bad at all. Still have a bloody blunderbuss on me. I'm going to leave that here. Um, and then we need somewhere for the generator to go. Now, really, I want to hide that down here somewhere maybe this block here hmm because if we get some cop spit or something if we put it back here there's a chance that it might get hit either that or we put it on the roof but then we could get vulture spit on it right there we go saved you saved your ears by the noise of that so we're going to put you I put you in there like that. I'm pretty sure I should be able to put a hatch on front of that. Let me just have a quick little check. See if I can. Now if we get some good rotation on the go. Should be able to put you. Yes. There we go. And we can still get to you to turn you on bloody hell it's not too bad is it so we've got four engines in here now we've got the dart trap we're going to put up in two seconds uh bloody hell things massive where's my fuel i still got my fuel here yes there we go right let's fuel you up quickly generator refuel all the way up Right, we've got the blade trap, which is going to be protecting the top of our dart trap here. Not quite sure how well that's going to work, to be honest. I've had, I've had doubts about that, but we've got to try it, because we do not know how well it's going to work. Right. First, first things first. Why are you? 
into the electrical trap and to the fence post and then from the fence post to this one so it means we'll be fixing that one that's the important thing right now I'm pretty sure no generator yep thank you to trip wire trip wire to this trip wire and from this trip wire to that pretty sure that's the way that goes and then that's one from the generator no we've got two more generator to blade trap might need a relay here can we do four from the generator there we go so we've got a few wires dangling around here but it's not too bad i've seen it worse let's turn you on cool i can certainly hear it definitely not go too close to you right i never actually noticed that he's got some little mad max blade bits on there as well i was always disappointed with this because it doesn't actually do that much damage you'd think something like that would literally completely destroy limbs right so the whole idea of you is to get all the little birdies flapping turkeys there right so you're all in locked ammo you're all in yeah and everything is hunky dory right Okay, well that's all good. So let's go back to you. Grab my hammer now. And we are going to upgrade you to steel. Where's my concrete? So it's only... 10 steel at a time. Now I've only got one there. Is there a reason for that? Did they knock it out? Well, be careful here because I don't want to um don't want to kill myself. Right, let's just put you there a second. that rotation no right okay well that was a um, a very poor very poor sight on myself I need cobblestone where's my hammer gone hammer time Right, so he's now actually going to have to dry. So, unfortunately, that's not all good. Got some clay soil and some stone here. That's the next thing that I'm going to actually go for. We're going to leave some steel here. We don't actually need that much on us, though. Uh, nerd tats, skull crushers. Have we not got any more of those here, or are we completely out? So, I'm just. Oh, hello, flapping turkeys. So just came out here into the desert and actually realised we've got a tier 3 quest quite close to us. So I'm actually quite tempted to do if you Will you get away from me, flapping turkey? We've got an airdrop that's just come. Right, let's quickly sort you out. Come on. Thank you. Oh, you've charged my stick as well. Oh, somebody's going to be getting minty. Okay, that's where the tier 3 was. Oh, so the airdrop was down here. Is that the airdrop? Yeah, we've got this bloody great canyon in the way. So we'll be able to cross it there. There's the tier 4. There's our whore base. 
we're there so we've got a little bit of a town here and then we've got a tier three over here that could be a little bit of a distance but here is some oil shell so let's kill this guy over here get him minty fresh how are your balls buddy oh, beautiful right let's get some digging done you shooting the chicken I have no idea actually put you out there for once actually being being cautious for once which is unlike me I haven't taken a rock buster Acres I didn't have one on me. Might be one in the bike that I never bothered checking. But also, I don't actually know if this is actually going to help with clay, soil, sand, because technically they're not ores. So I'm not actually quite sure. If you guys know better than me, please let me know in the comments down below if it actually works on sand and clay soil. Now, the great thing about getting sand is you get clay soil at the same time which isn't technically true but I'm not going to argue with it because I need both so to keep that cement production going for when we build our new hall base next week right how are we doing so far 877 right going to get a little bit more and then I think we're going to jump over to that tier 3 quest oh well that's a shame the tier 3 which is a clear can't just duck in and get the loot is this building here and we did one of those yesterday so that's a little bit of a shame but I have just seen ooh, some lockpicks definitely need those I have just seen a fire station, so I'm going to get rid of that quest there. We don't want to keep doing the same quest. They need to sort that out. Just try and give you one quest. There's more than enough buildings in this place. Right, so here we go then. The fire station, inventory all sorted quickly sort out that tier 3 quest where is it uh, 190 meters away yep yeah. we've got another one 649 which is another bloody gas station which will be the big gas station we've done that as well right um, there we go oh that was a good one a little bit worried when I saw him running. Oh, look at this. We're on fire. Mmm. Not a good day to be you. Now, sometimes when you go through these POIs, it's actually harder when you go through not as a quest sometimes so our game stage is getting up there now we're in the to the 90s it does mean we should be finding some half decent loot which is good so that was a little bit lackluster right i think there's um pretty damn sure there's a bookshelf up here as well Yes. Oh, you're pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. That's what we call teamwork. Right, we pissed somebody off somewhere. Bookshelf. Tech junkie. Unfortunately, we won the tech junkie books. But we've already read that one. We all going on right, nothing going on there. Can we all get to the roof from here?
Come on over. So I'm pretty sure this place is a tier 3 and I don't know why we haven't been given this as a quest. A million and one gas stations. we go. Didn't want to take any chances. Saw the biker there. Definitely did not want to take any chances with him. Big shout out to any of you that managed to catch the live stream the other night on Sunday. Had a whale of a time. Now I'm actually going to take these beds apart because springs... Could definitely help us at the moment. So I think we're fairly safe at the moment. Up here, I think we... Yeah, it's probably downstairs. Ooh, mushroom seed. Definitely need that. There we go. Get ourselves the springs. It's everybody downstairs we've um, we've pissed off. Don't worry, guys. We'll get to you. Do the old Mr. T trick in a second. Wonder if that still works. Oh, we've actually, it's over here, we've got some friends. Okay, let's get you down. Got my STD mod in here. I totally thought I had him in there. Oh, how's your hand? <laughs> Mr. T, you absolute legend. He's definitely doing some work now, isn't he? Right, okay. Now, can we place him down here? We used to be able to do this. No, you can't. Well, there's a spot there. Yeah, and then he drops down. There you go, so he's already covering you. I'm not sure you're facing the right direction. Should have picked you up and replaced you. Somebody else kicking off somewhere. That's okay. Sort you out in a minute. Don't worry, you'll get your turn. Still two parts. Oh, are you caught up down there, love? You worry about that, and there's the final loop. A power attack is still so slow. Never feels right. Right, let's get this opened up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why we've got so many tier three quests. Oh, that's nice. Get some more parts out of you, but another rad remover. It's very nice. And I didn't even put my lucky looter goggles on. Few schematics we already know. Both both very useful ones. Oh, we've actually got a steel pickaxe now. Are we gonna be able to use it though? Stamina cost 25 and block damage 66. Stamina cost 19 and 21. Hmm. We've actually got most of the steel tools now. Most of the steel tools we actually have now, can we actually use them? This, this is a question. 
Might have to try it at some point. Right. Right, why not? To finish the day off, we'll come to this place opposite. We're not going to go through it. I don't even know the right way to actually go through it. Woken somebody up already. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what, what have you done? Where have you gone? Come on. There we go. Sorted your balls out. More lockpicks. Typical, isn't it? Absolutely typical. We don't actually need the lockpicks. We find loads of them. Anybody sleeping in the toilets? Oh, Jesus. Yes, there is. Nancy. Got another biker boy here. We seem to be finding lots of those. Oh, we got another runner. Should say sprinter, really, because they're all running now. Oh, I guess always going to be a Jarvis in there whenever you go towards the burger and fries. One of your favourite hideouts, I expect. Good work, Mr. T. We're going to repair you, actually. So you should be reloading faster, but you don't seem to be reloading faster. Right, there we go. Now, I thought this was a burger place. It actually, I think, is the old bank. It always used to have a cop in it. No, you got a biker. Because of course you'd have a biker looking after your money. Maybe it's a mob bank. Ooh, look at this. Okay, barrel extender schematic. Another bookshelf. Semi mod. Not a big fan of that, but we'll learn it anyway. So downstairs to this place. I'll take your chairs. Anything in the desk? No. Just your trousers. Because you always keep your trousers in your desk. Yeah, used to be... Yeah, there's a load of safes here. Well, there's one there. There used to be loads along here. Yeah, one there. We've got the jailbreakers. That is not... Something we can just open with the jailbreakers. But we have the auger on us. How you doing, Loza? Don't know if there's an easy way into there. Must have been a more bank. We've got bikers everywhere. There we go. I say, I don't know if there's an easier way into there through... Well, there you go. We didn't have to go through there at all. Right. Well, Lucky Luda Goggles on. Not bad little raid. See, I'm sure this would be a tier 3 as well. Ooh, a SWAT helmet. That's actually better on everything than what we're already wearing. And the same mobility and everything else. Right, okay. That's all good indeed. Right, what do we got here? Ooh, a double... Armour mod. Oh, a better wrench. And some repair kits and stuff. Right, okay, well. Modify you. Put you into our new wrench. Now, have we got a single storage mod in anything? Triple. Triple. Double. Don't even have one. They're only tier 3. Okay. We'll get round to it. When we get some better boots. That are designed for walking. It should be alright. Now we need to go and do those two safes quickly upstairs. Oh my god. Number one. Oh, you'd be good to sell. 
Don't need you, don't need you, but we'll definitely take you. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. Right, guys. Headlights on. That's where we're going to leave you for today. Tomorrow is the big one. It's the Horde Night. I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed than I was. Got a shotgun messiah up here as well. Big one. Um, now that we've got all those traps and everything all, all set up, ready to go. Everything looks like it should be working. I'm in a playground. Red mess. There's loads of those. But, um, yeah, it's all about tomorrow. This new assault rifle is doing wonders. I think he's going to sort us right out. Oh, bloody hell. We have got the airdrop down here. Or an airdrop, probably not the one we saw earlier. Okay, let's quickly get to that. Oh, bugger me, what a pain that was. Right, where are you? We've all been there, we've all had to do it. And it wasn't really worth it at all anyway. It was not worth it at all. Guys, that's where I'm going to leave you for this one. We've got it though. Head on home, get a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow... It's all about the horde night guys have a good one big thumbs up on the video any comments put those down below and i'll see you in the next episode take it easy